Hello, hello everybody, and welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh! 5D's uh, World Championship 2009. It's me, Cooper, and we're going to attempt the gauntlet again. Now, last time we did pretty damn good making it all the way to Gamma, almost decking them out with only 7 or 6 cards left in their deck. And honestly, I feel like we did pretty okay. My deck has been very smallly edited because, you know, you saw the cards I pulled last episode, they're as good as we're gonna get. So I added like two cards to the deck, maybe three, and uh, we're just going to have to keep hoping and praying that we can pull this off. The zombie deck, it's scary, I admit it, but maybe we could pull it off. The water deck, uh, I feel like our water deck's just better, it's honestly probably the case. And then we get to the Lightsworn deck, and the Lightsworn deck is where we're on a different level because not only do Lightsworns have good beaters that clear back row, they have very fast special summons, it's one of the hardest decks to fight in my opinion and we don't even know what the last member is so i'm just wish me luck guys i have never seen a pokemon version of the elite four except uh you sorry i've seen plenty of those uh, a Yu-Gi-Oh version of the elite four except the fact that you can't even heal in between battles the battles start immediately literally immediately so this is kind of insane luckily my mermaider deck does have um a, a cure mermaid in it so oh there she is actually that's not how i want to get her but whatever um because it has a cure mermaid in it i do have a small chance of being able to kill them uh let's see if they start this duel with a good old-fashioned zombie world because i know how effective their deck is the most of it is just me stalling until they oh god damn it god damn it, if they get revive king on the first turn i'm so screwed mother grizzly effect gets negated i got no monsters in my hand yep it's gonna happen uh, Mother Grizzly's effect gets negated. I got no cards in my hand to stop it. Oh, that's not good. Okay, that's not good. But luckily, I still have a salvage, so I could always bring it back if I really need it. But at the moment, I am just screwed. Okay, okay. An effect stopper on the first turn. Foolish Burial, strong combo. I could try to activate the effect. It'll make me feel better. Uh-huh, I tried. Um, let's see if I could top deck my Smashing Ground or something. We rarely see that card. Lightning Vortex, that would do it. Um, stop. Shit! Wow! Dun, 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 dun. I did. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. That was, that was lucky. Granted, they could always bring this monster back a million times with Book of Life and, uh, well, actually, they can't use Book of Life if I remove from playing my own monster, so maybe we should do that. So we're gonna get rid of Mother Grizzly just so they can't do that. And, uh, the only way they can do it now is Mizuki, which, I mean... They've always drawn Mizuki against us, so I'm expecting it, but so far I feel pretty confident. We just gotta attack. Hmm, maybe I should have summoned Cure Mermaid. That way I would have gained something in the end rather than just do 200 more damage. But at the same time, I just feel good hitting the opponent. So, a little bit scary. I mean, obviously they still have their trap cards, but we were able to get rid of some of them. Let's see what they got. Hmm, could be a Pyramid Tur No, Pyramid Tur they would have attacked. What do they keep face down? A different Plague Spreader Zombie, of course. So, obviously, every time we play this game, they always start with Mirror Force. And the fact that we had Giant Trinity was really nice, but there's still a great chance they have Mirror Force or Toriental Tribute. And yet, we're at a point where I don't have any stall options, so we're going to be forced to go in. We're literally forced to go in. If we die, we die. I've lost all my weak monsters, so Salvage will never be useful. Uh, it was Plague Spreader, I was right about that, which is not a good thing in the end, because that means no matter what, I'm going to be fighting another one of those uh, annoying monsters on my next turn. Let's go ahead and do another 1700 damage, putting them down to 3k. So, I'm probably going to have to fight a Revive King Hades yet again. Um, let's see which one he summons. Plague Spreader, got to send a card back, and then they have one monster left in their hand. It is... Ooh, ooh, wait a minute. Hold up. If I could draw a monster card, I could maybe end this duel. Did they just draw two Plague Spreaders? Is that really... Aw, oh, damn it. I didn't draw a monster. That bottomless mattered. Okay, well, this feels good because I'm going to be able to remove from play one Plague Spreader. And the other Plague Spreader, I assume they just put on the field, will not be useful at all. It will literally just get, uh, it'll literally just screw the guy. Oh, what the? They didn't just go for it? What? That makes no sense. 
Why are they playing passively all of a sudden? They had complete control of the duel. Why aren't they summoning Zombie Dragon? What's going on here? I don't understand a damn thing about this. <clears throat> if I use Aqua Spirit's effect, I think I force them into attack mode, but what are you going to do? No matter what, they were going to attack us. And this time I'm going to have to lose somebody. Probably Aqua Spirit. I'll lose a little bit of damage, but with all the cards in my hand, if I draw a monster, I can end this duel. Or even better, if I draw a Heavy Storm, I can make sure to end this duel. There it is, everybody. The red Eyes Zombie Dragon. A scary monster. Very powerful boss. Uh, even though I think they're real bosses, that Dark End Dragon, whatever. But whatever. Zombie, red Eyes Zombie Dragon is a very powerful boss, but no Zombie World in sight. Let's see what card they had. Nothing. So, unless that face down has been a Mirror Force this entire time, which would be some bullcrap, in my opinion. I think we got this. United We Stand is the first bait, because your mage power is better. Okay, so far so good. Mage power is the card that's going to win us this duel. 100% mage power. Because we're going to be so strong after I do this. There's nothing that could stop me now. I'm sorry, Alpha. Say hello to the 4,500 Mad Lobster. 2100 damage. They live by 500. Don't really run burn cards anymore, so this is going to be a little bit risky. I have Dimension Wall in my deck somewhere. That's like the only burn card I run. Let's see how they deal with a 4500 attack point monster. That's not going to do it. Yeah, you could stall, but it has zero defense. I would have picked something with some better D. Uh, no, God, no. Do not kill yourself. That is, that is the dumb thing people do. All right, let's see. I'm going to need... Yeah, trust me, a lot of the AIs will activate TT, like, for, like, no reason, on themselves, at bad moments. Gold Sarcophagus can be good, but at this moment, it's not. That's a better a card to start the duel with, not freaking end it. Um, I would say at this moment in time, Mother Grit... Well, I could just go for Dimension Wall for a guaranteed victory, that's true. Good, good job, Brain. Good job. That way, in case they ever do pull the, turn this around with a popping card of some sort... I'll still have a way back into it. Mad Lobster destroys the Revive King. Keeping level 6 monsters off of the field is very important so that they don't synchro summon to the monster that could actually kill me. Even though I would just totally kill it with my Toriental Tribute. Alright. More face down monsters. This guy's been a little lucky with his top decks, but... Like I said, as long as I draw some good cards, it'll all be fine. Raigeki Break is a good card. Um, one weakness of Raigeki Break at the moment is I don't have a hand. Neither me or my, neither I or my opponent has one, but we'll see. Okay, Zombie Master's dead. Good to get rid of that. Very good. Very good. All right, Zombie Master's pretty useless when you don't have a hand, so I got pretty lucky there. Ooh, this undead guy is stressing me out. I gotta admit it. And terraforming to make me a zombie so I can no longer tribute summon. Good play, good play. But you don't have any cards to revive my monsters, so I don't care. Yeah, just because my monsters are zombies now doesn't mean much to me. The not tribute thing could be a problem later on, though. If we even get to later on, because I draw, and that's GG. I don't even need the Dementia Ball in the end. Because I pop the I, I pop the monster, and that's a guaranteed victory. But I will keep the Dimension Wall just in case, so. The Bregeki Break, get rid of Divine Wrath. Divine Wrath, get rid of Face Down. Face Down was Pyramid Turtle. I'm so glad I didn't attack that monster. And 4,500 direct damage to make me feel like a big, big man. Alpha bites the dust. Okay, the zombie deck, strong. But our water deck, effective. It works. Even though we looked like we were losing at the end there. Uh, we didn't even take that much damage. It all worked out pretty well. Now we got to go ahead. Oh, these points mean nothing. None of these points even mean anything if, like, it's a gauntlet. So let's try this again. Cold Frozen World versus Mermaider. Hopefully I uh, get to go first, thank God. Okay. This guy likes using um Umikura, so if I draw a Legendary Ocean, I shouldn't play it. I rarely draw a Legendary Ocean, though, which is really weird since I run three. Um, but I guess the game's just a weird game. Uh, I'm going to summon Oystermeister in attack mode. And I'm not going to have any fear when I have this gravity bind here. And then I can just stall until I get a legendary ocean. Then I pop him. 
I pop everything. Oh, or I can go a different route now because they're not playing aggressively. That means I'm at the I'm the one with the advantage. If I'm the one with the holy shit. <laughs> you see that back row? I was like, oh, oh, there's so many. There's like no way in hell I stand a chance against that much back row. Like right now, a heavy a heavy storm would be a dream card. But who needs dreams? Giant Trune will do half the job. For at least a turn. Which means I need to go aggressive this turn because I don't have the option to hold back. So I'm going to summon Ice Blast user Rice. And then this guy is going... I'm, don't really, I rarely do it, but I'm going to Synchro Summon. And the good news is this monster actually heals me, so I'll be able to get my life points back. Alright, Magical Android joins the party. Yeah, there we go. Got a 2400 beater. Oyster Meister gives me a nice little token just in case. And I still have a special summon left over, so I could go for some damage this turn. Now, I remember fighting his deck before. Oh, I didn't want to throw that monster away. Whatever. I remember fighting his deck before, and um, the cards that he has do have, like, 1800 defense, because he likes these Ice Blast cards. Morphing Jar was the... Oh, I made him lose everything! I made him lose everything! I'm going to get... I lose Mother Grizzly. That's a big loss. But they lose everything. Wall Revealing Light, all of it. Oh, that feels so... So good. Problem, I lost Levi Dragon right when I got a Legendary Ocean with a full field. That feels bad. But at the same time, I feel good. I am like, ugh. It's, like, it's a new level of good. I, I didn't know it was possible. All right, we get our main, we got our Book of Moon ready just in case. We get to heal a little bit because I happen to have a Psychic Monster on the field. Yeah, let's just get that heal. And even though they do have a new hand, and that can be intimidating, god damn, did that feel good. Don't get to keep your wall revealing light. Don't get to keep a damn thing. Mother Grizzly can take out my little token. That's not even a problem. Mother Grizzly could technically be a problem, because it's a good stall card, but... Mm, I, I feel a little too good right now. A little too much confidence. And only one trap. Isn't that a beautiful sight when you have an MST in your hand? I draw a card. I have my own Grizzly, which changes everything, thankfully. I activate MST. MST, yay for me. Why don't you go ahead and destroy that card? They t Holy shit, they got Mirror Force. Oh, I got so lucky with that. Okay, so what did they lose? They lost the Tuner Monster. They lost Morphing Jar. They lost Wall Revealing Light. They lost Cold Wave. Um, they lost some good stuff. They lost MST. Yeah, they lost some good stuff. Um... I don't really want to let them search their deck, but I'm going to do it. No, if I do it, it's... Yeah, I'm going to... No. No, I'm not going to do it. I already, I already remember they have a stall card. So instead, I'm going to summon DD Warrior Lady. And we're going to use DD Warrior Lady's effect to stop them from searching. So let's go ahead and go for it. Uh, what's my face down that it wants me to activate? Sorry, I forgot what was face down. Book of Moon, that won't make a difference here. All right, well, DD Warrior Lady, do 100 damage. And... Uh, let us remove them from play so they don't get their effect off. Alright, I know it's a pretty big option to use right now, but guess what? They're wi wide open and I have a full field advantage. Nothing to worry about. I even keep a Legendary Ocean handy just in case. Alright, because the Legendary Ocean still combos with Gravity Bind if I need to go for that route as well. Plus, I'm enjoying the heals while I have them. I'm going to need plenty of heals for this to be doable. Alright, Umikura, that is a good card, I admit it. Um, not too scared of it, but it is a good card. Let's see what they end up doing with it. You see, it's not a good card when you play defense mode because you just lowered your own defense. In fact, you made my Legendary Ocean look not as valuable right now. Because having my opponent lower their own defense is a pretty interesting thing. All right, I'm going to go ahead and draw Mage Power. That's a beautiful card. Um, I'm going to summon the Mother Grizzly. And I'm going to go in and hopefully win. Let's see. With their defense lowered, Mother Grizzly could do it. Oh, it's another Mother Grizzly. Funny. Very funny. So they still had a second Mother Grizzly in their hand, which means they wouldn't have been able to special summon that much. Uh, Mother Grizzly hits the field. That's a little sad for me. Um, she's a little strong, but not too problematic in this case, because I could still do some damage at least. Yeah, still do some damage. 
They're out of Mother Grizzlies now, which means I'm probably going to see that monster that can't be killed. Um, which is what they think, but I know I can't let them get their Ice Barrier card. Therefore, I Book of Moon. If I had Mage Powered, yes, I probably could have almost won. Not really. I would have done 15... Oh, I'd have to play Legendary Ocean, but I could set it. Hmm, I would have done some damage. I would have done some damage. Probably won, but who cares? Right now, what matters is... I thought it was a win. I didn't know they'd have another Mother Grizzly. That was a little lucky on their part. Oh, wait, they still get their effect, don't they? I'm an idiot. Sorry about that, everybody. It happens. Don't worry. It happens. Um, I didn't realize... I don't know why I didn't realize that they would... I thought, oh, they're face down. They lose their effect. No, what are you talking about? Of course they gain it. At least I'm going to gain life points during this time. And while I'm gaining life points, I still have the game. I just got to make sure they uh, stay in attack mode. Yeah, Aqua Spirit is a very good card for that. But if they do summon the card we're afraid of... It will suck. Let's see if they have a tuner. No, but they are willing to fight me, which is what I wanted. This is actually exactly what I wanted, because now I get my Cure Mermaid, I get to heal more, and with more heals means I have a better chance against the Light Sworn person. And a better chance against Light Sworns always sounds good to me. Alright, Cure Mermaid, come and join us. Yay! <laughs> this feels good. This feels good. And because he's stuck in attack mode, it wins me the duel. So, overall, good duel. Good duel. Got uh, got some life points back. That feels good. Having my opponent stuck in attack mode also feels pretty good. You know, something to, something to enjoy. I'm going to go ahead and mage power up my monster. No reason not to. And then I'm going to... I'm going to set a legendary ocean, so I still get the mage power buff, but I do not uh, get rid of the card. Then we're going to have Aqua Spirit attack. Only 100 damage, but it'll be something. You know, we're doing a little bit. And now we just need to do 2k, which we barely don't do, which is fine, because that means I get to heal more. This could always backfire, though. I understand that. This could always backfire. Um, and we go to main phase 2. And we set you. And now we can't really backfire, because Penguin Soldier guarantees a victory. So, I feel pretty good right now. And I still get to heal off that. Look at that. 10,300. I feel like a big, big man. No need to activate my effect. I want you in attack mode. Wait, what the hell? What the hell? How'd you sub- What? You have Penguin Soldier? Yo, what? Hold up. There's something wrong here. There's something real wrong going on. Alright, the damage from them would be a little bit rough. And I honestly just win this duel of Penguin Soldier, so I'm gonna I'm gonna gravity bind. We're not gonna deal with this. Yeah, Penguin Soldier wins me the duel. Oh, they have a trap now! That is unbelievably unlucky. If their trap Oh wow, three legendary oceans. That's crazy. If their trap ends up being what I think it is, that's gonna be so disgusting. Either way, still gonna do this. A little worried. What does this do? All it needs is four or more control cards on the field? That's crazy. So no matter what, they could summon it next turn. I have to kill them right now. I absolutely have to. I was just talking about how I never draw a legendary ocean. It gives me three. A silly game. Alright. To make sure I still get to keep something, Cure Mermaid needs to be in defense mode. Aqua Spirit could attack if I activate a legendary ocean, so... Let's just make sure I can. Just in case they have some trap card that I'm not ready for. Try to win with Penguin Soldier to minimize damage. There we go. Okay. We won and we did a ton of damage. We got to see more of their deck too in case we have to come back here. And we got to heal so much. It feels good. But now we're on to the Light Sworn deck. A deck that outspeeds... Water decks are not known for speed. But this Light Sworn deck outspeeds mine incredibly. They have Necro Gardener to keep themselves safe. They have a lot of good options. I just gotta hope that I can beat it. They have a Triple Judgment Dragon, which is horrifying. Which means I should always assume they have one. Unless I see three hit the grave, I should assume they have one. Is 10,000 the max amount of life points I'm allowed to have? I'm glad I didn't just stand... I, I don't like grinding for stuff, so I didn't bother trying to, but... Yeah. TT's gonna be pretty important, and... 
I don't want to set Raigeki Break in case um, my opponent happens to use a Heavy Storm. I don't want them to... Alright, there's that guy. That guy is pretty scary looking. TT is really important for this duel. I'm going to need it for that one guy. Losing Oyster Meister is not the biggest deal. He dies, he dies. And I don't mind him discarding cards because I want to see to I want to see Judgment Dragon. I do. I want them to pay the thousand life points and lose everything. That'll make me a happy person. All right, I got Mother Grizzly. Okay, we're gonna activate Legendary Ocean to see if okay he does have MST. We're at least getting him to hit that instead. That's very good that we did that. Then, now that we don't have the aggressive option, oh no. We're going to set Mother Grizzly. Um, they have face downs now, so Heavy Storm is not as valuable to them. And there we go. So far, so good. Dust Tornado, please don't hit the right one. Oh, it, get, it hit the right one, thank God. I meant don't hit the middle one, but I also meant right as in, like, the correct one for my situation. Regeki Break is important, but it's not as important. Yeah, I su it sucks that I lose Mother Grizzly, but she's going to pop TT either way, so I'm out of options. That kind of sucks. That kind of sucks. Oh, you! God, why do they always get Monster Reborn? Okay, and I can't use Salvage because Oyster Meister happens to be 16, not 15 attack. Uh, I didn't mind Mother Grizzly hitting the grave because I was like, you know what, I can get it back with Salvage, but... I can't yet. I need to draw a weak monster. That's not a weak monster. Damn it. Dimension Wall will be good, though. It will be good. Um, it might only be good right now, honestly. But... Ah, damn it. Damn it. My opponent got lucky. Monster born early. Which means... Mirror Force possibly early. They don't have a good hand, though. So that means they probably have Judgment Dragon blocking it up. Let's see. No reason to mention more right now. His monster doesn't discard cards, so I don't have to worry about Judgment Dragon for a bit. I just need to draw a weak monster or a good monster, like my eight, no, 19 beaters. Uh, don't I don't even have one. Okay, Penguin Soldier counts, because not only do I get Penguin Soldier back, it bounces them to the hand, which is no use to them. Um, and I get to um, salvage my Mother Grizzly back, so it's a win-win. Especially if they draw another monster, it's like, nope, I got you. They didn't, but it's fine. Same, same, I mean, it's not the same result because that means they get to summon a monster this turn. But at least that means they're breaking up their hand. That means maybe they have Solar Recharge and they haven't been able to use it because they have Judgment Dragon in hand. And now they will be able to use it, but we got to hope for the best. Okay, nope, just Gar Garra. I can Salvage now. That makes me very happy. I draw a card. My new Gemini Lancer. Yep, that guy's all right. He's not as good as those guys, though, so got to watch out. Um, I could Penguin Soldier if I really wanted to, or I could Mother Grizzly to start the search. Uh, I will probably Mother Grizzly, just so I can get my monster that's a tuner, so I can get up to a bigger level. Or I can go for... Hmm... No, tuner is probably the only bet I got. I'm a little afraid of the back row, but I kind of have to go aggressive. I'm not in a position where I have time to waste. I've, got, I've been very lucky with my opponent having a bad hand. I need to keep that advantage. All right, Mother Grizzly's gone, but that means I get to bring out a Tuner. All right, Tuner Monster, here we come. Also could do Cure Mermaid, <laughs> but I don't feel like getting a few life points back. I just want to see if I could beat this guy in general. No need to go crazy and try to heal myself on top of that. All right, I draw. That's a good... That This card is very funny, and it will win me a duel one day, but not today. Today, we're going for this. I'm going to summon Gemini. No bottomless. That's a good sign. Or a bad sign, depending on what happens right now. And there we go. We made our big monster. We could beat almost everything in their deck, except the big boy, the judge. All right. And please, game. Just give me the... You already got Monster Born. Do not give them Mirror Force. Okay, good. I thank you, game. I thank you so much. I was so stressed out going for this attack. Uh, granted, I knew I had life points left to spare because of my trap card, but I'm putting more cards in the grave, which is risky. I'm just hoping that you're still bricked. Oh, they drew that Soul Recharge I was talking about. Hmm. Let's see. It looks like only spells and traps have hit the grave, which is very lucky for me. And they might have Triple Judgment Dragon or just Tribute Monsters in hand. So that's good. Um, let's see. 
what has been hit so far? Dust Tornado, MST, Wolf is gone. Necro Gardener to stop an attack, Cold Wave. Lost Cold Wave, okay. We know that that's probably not Mirror Force. So this one might be. It was TT. You know what? We we take those. We take the hits on TT. We love that. Uh, maybe it is time for Drowls of Dark Demise to come in handy. Maybe the time has come. Necro Gardener starts the attack as we expected. And we are in a okay position. They've uh, solar recharged quite a few cards in the grave, but not enough for Judgment, I don't think. And now it could be. Yeah, that's not good. That's really not good. Oh, yep, that was enough. Okay. Don't have my TT. Would have lost it anyway, so I was forced to use it early. Lost our Geki Break to a Dust Tornado. And lost a lot of good cards. Beckoning Light It's going to give them what they want. Let's see. They have that girl and Wolf, which is useless in hand. I'm glad that they're programmed to grab the most useless cards. Uh, that girl's really good, though, so... Ooh, Judgment Dragon. I don't have anything. Dimension Wall ended up being useless. I'm glad I lost Jowls of anything. I don't want to lose Penguin Soldier in case there's a chance. We lose most of our life points. The best card I could top deck is Smashing Ground. That is, well, maybe actually Lightning Vortex, even if it means I don't. I still have to take a hit next turn. Granted, they don't have any monsters that they can summon, so yeah, Lightning Vortex is my best option. Ooh, baby. Freaking Light Sworn decks, guys. Freaking Lights. What, does, what are you doing? Oh, you have to... Yeah, I forgot. Forgot about the effect. My bad. Uh, too late! Too goddamn late! Oh, damn it. Well, there is a chance that they don't have another monster to summon. They don't tribute summon. Yes. That was what we wanted to see happen. You pay your thousand, and I say no. And then I pray that you didn't draw another good monster. Okay, good. You went, I'm actually glad you went for that tribute, because now I don't have to suffer the consequences. And she does take away four cards, but stalling at this point seems not possible. Unless they just don't draw any more Judgment Dragons, there is always that, <laughs> that option. I would need Gravity Bind. It's my only real hope. Or that one water monster, but it's already got Mother Grizzly. There's a small chance I can stall this out. Very small. Because if they draw a second monster, I will burn a little bit for it, but I am in an okay position. They didn't draw a second monster, which means they're going to get closer to decking out, and I could try to stall my way to victory. It will be a very brutal stall, because that means I'll only be left with a thousand life points at best. But eventually they'll get Judgment Dragons, so I have to really hope they throw away the Judgment Dragons. If they don't, I'm screwed. Stall. I know Kira Mermaid would heal me, but we have to stall. All right, let's see if they throw away Judgment Dragon. They have a new trap, but we're never going to attack. We attack, we lose. Sand Gang counts as it could be good stall. Does she not use her effect? When you tribute summon this card by a Light Swarm Monster, you say... Oh, it's only when you tribute summon. Okay. Shit. So she's not going to deck them out. And there's always a chance they draw a Judgment Dragon. They have a bunch of wolves in their hand. The wolves were stupid, thank God. Ugh, I'm so stressed out. Come on. Okay, so far so good. Mother Grizzly dies. I'm forced to go for my healing monster. It's the case that we're in, but you know what? I don't mind a heal right now. Like I said, maybe they'll draw something that, that really will deck them out. Right now, there's no, no chance of that. They have a new trap card, which kind of scares me. It's not Beckoning Light, because I think they would have done it by now to get Judgment Dragon back. They have a new monster, but it's not worth attacking with, which means I know it. Oh, I know what it is. It's that goddamn dog. It's that goddamn dog. Sangan. If it's that dog, we gotta kill it. We gotta kill it. Thick. Thick. They're getting rid of that dog now. I could get rid of... There's a chance I could get rid of... A light swarm. Yep, okay. I could get rid of Judgment Dragon because the dog does the effect where you lose cards. This is part of the deck out. Please hit my seven card fish like an idiot. Thank That works too. That works too. That really benefits me in the end. All right. I want DD Warrior Lady for sure. Seven card fish being an attack mode worries me, but they didn't get any monsters to special summon. 
They lost no judgment dragons. Oh god. Oh god. They have a one out of five chance of drawing a judgment dragon. Oh, come on. Don't let them get it. Do not let them get it. Damn it! One out of five and they drew it! Oh, I hate statistics! I hate them! <laughs> oh, god damn it. Alright, everybody. We've tried again, but we literally just can't match up to the Judgment Dragon deck. I literally need counter cards to stop it. And the only counter cards are like my TT, my Divine Wrath, my Bottomless... I mean, but you have to draw them early enough, and you can't let them get killed by that one Lila lady. Oh, this deck just doesn't have it. And I don't, ha I, I, don't, I don't have any of the good cards. One of the cards I would need is Dimension Wall or something, or Dimensional Fisher or Macro Cosmos to counter two of these decks. Um, but we'll have to wait till next time to do it. So, the Gauntlet will be continued. This is basically going to be every episode for until we can do it. The Gauntlet will be continued next time. Bye bye